It's been 40 days since the country was put on lockdown as ways of dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. One of those affected by this is Monumental Wood and Metal Manufacturing Company. They say within this period they have incurred a loss worth 60 to 100 million rand and francs, while 62 employees stayed home. The head of this company, Vayinkana Jean Louis, explains his joy at the ease of the lockdown. <laughs> We are very happy. I saw the announcement in the morning. The first thing I did was pray and thank God, but I also thank our leadership who made the decision and also making it easy of us, the business people with loans in the banks and other measures to ensure we do not feel the pinch as much. On the other hand, Rutazigua Eric towards Hotel Galaxy. This hotel shut its doors 40 days ago and incurred a loss of about 100 million and 75 staff stayed home. He applauds the measure but says they have a long way to go from the economic pinch of the pandemic. <laughs> The hoteliers have a long way to go because we do not have flights coming in, borders are still closed and we still do not have vaccines to fight this virus. So we have a long way to go. This Monday, public transport is said to go on in Kigali City. Employees of Jali Transport, like others, were at home and were not paid their April salary. This, according to the MD Innocent, this comes as a relief for many. We are happy with the move and we are ready to resume work. We are working close with the city of Kigali and Rura so that we keep following the measures put in place. The Minister for Health, Dr. Daniel Ngamija, says these measures were put in place following a thorough guideline that showed that the measures taken before yielded good fruits, which included testing of 4,573 citizens, especially those who continued to work during the lockdown. Of all we tested, the results came negative, and that's what we based our decision on to ease the lockdown, as was announced by the Prime Minister. The cabinet reviewed existing measures and approved the following effective Monday, May 4, 2020. Mask screening and testing for COVID-19 will continue nationwide. Masks must be worn in public at all times. All resumed services must adhere to health guidelines from the Ministry of Health, that is to say hand hygiene, mask wearing and social distancing. Electronic payments and online banking services should be used whenever possible. Movements are prohibited from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. except with permission. Services to resume. Public and private businesses will resume with essential staff while other employees continue working from home. Markets will open for essential vendors not exceeding 50% of registered traders. Manufacturing and construction sectors will open with essential workers. Hotels and restaurants will operate, but close by 7 p.m. Individual sporting activity in open spaces is permitted. However, sports facilities shall remain closed. Public and private transport will resume within the same province. Bus operators will ensure passengers maintain social distancing and only passengers with masks will be allowed on board. Funeral gatherings should not exceed 30 persons. Services to remain closed. Schools will remain closed until September 2020. Places of worship will remain closed. Gyms and recreational centers will remain closed. All bars will remain closed. Public and private transport between different provinces and the city of Kigali is not permitted. Motors and bicycles are not permitted to carry passengers, but may carry goods and continue to offer delivery services. Borders will remain closed except for goods and cargo, as well as returning Rwandan citizens and legal residents who will be subject to mandatory 14-day quarantine. Meetings in public spaces and mass gatherings are prohibited. The current measures will remain until Monday, May 4th of 2020, when new guidelines will take effect and reviewed after 15 days upon a health assessment.